All right, here's a tutorial on the newly updated Robeats mapping place. Basically, what's been added is Spaco has allowed us to create more custom maps into our own game. And that can be really useful if a friend doesn't like playing Osu, if they're mainly a 3D reader, or if you just want to convert it to Robeats for fun. So you would find this in the Robeats Dive group chat. And after, you're going to click on here, the three little dots, and click edit. Just wait for all of this to load in and you would see on the Explorer right here on this side you have all of this stuff but the only thing that matters are workspace and replicated storage. Let's start with the workspace first. We're gonna open up the settings right here. Click on creator name and where the value is you're gonna change this to fatality or whatever your name might be and there you go you can close this up now let's move on to the readme so right here on the first one it tells you you have to convert your .osu file into this lua file and to do this you're gonna have to open up this web browser So after you've done that, you're going to have to get your OSU file and paste it right here and convert it. And now we will do that in a bit. But first, let's open up this and let's go to replicated storage. You're going to click on song maps and you can just delete these two. All right. So now let us begin with the osu files open up osu click, click on the editor and search for whatever song you want to convert into robeats in this case i'll do blessing chord by rosalia so after you're here you can click on files and go to open.osu and notepad and control a control c to copy all of that and you're basically done with osu now You're going to go back to the link Spaco has given us and paste it into here and convert it. And now you have all of this stuff you can copy. So now after you've done that, you're actually going to go back to the song map, click on this plus and search for module script right here. After you search for module script, you'll just paste all of this in here and go all the way up. And we will get to all of this in a moment. Now we will go back to the workspace and click on song map list. And you can delete this right here. If you're only adding one difficulty, then only one line of this is needed. And right here is what your map is going to be. So let's actually rename this module script to our map name so let's just do blessing chord and after you've done that you're going to change this right here into whatever the module script is named there you go you have added the difficulty now on to the important part so let's go back into the blessing chord right here the audio asset ID, this is one of the most important things. Without this, you can't play the song. So you can actually look for that. Now, you can use the audio you used from Osu and upload it to Roblox, but that would cost Robux. So what I like to do is just find a pre-uploaded audio that I could use. And that's exactly what I did. Search for the song name in library and see if it's there. Click on audios. And actually I have to search for it again. So let's do that. Search. And it's the first thing that pops up. Now once this page has opened, you're going to go on top. And you're going to look for these numbers right here. Now... Not all numbers will be the same, but it's fine. You have to copy that numbers and go back over here 
into the studio and delete everything in these quotation marks for audio asset ID. After you're going to type out RBX asset ID colon double slash and then the ID you grabbed from the link. All right, the audio file name. This is what's just going to name it. So you can put anything you want. The description, this is just a fun little thing to describe the song. Let's just say a song in Bang Dream Girls Band Party made by the band Rosalia. The image asset, you don't have to worry about this. The artist obviously is just whoever made the song, Rosalia. The difficulty is based on your judgment. Obviously, this isn't a 1. I would say it's more of a 26. The audio time offset, we'll get to this later. The audio volume should be fine how it is. Now, the pre-buffer time right here, this is your note speed. So, it's defaulted to 1,500, but the higher you go, the slower the note speed will be. The lower you go, the higher your note speed would be. I usually like to go around 650, and that's around, what, 1.9 times note speed in row beats. But a lot of people might go for, like, around 800. And after you've done that, you're basically done now. You can now go into the actual game, click on play, and here it is. You can play it. And now, I want you to notice something right now. It's pretty obvious to tell. You can see that the audio has started before the map. Now, this would most likely happen if you're using a pre-uploaded audio in Roblox, but it shouldn't happen if you're uploading an audio from Osu. To fix this, you're going to go to the time offset, and the lower this number is, so like let's say negative 200, the later the map will start. And the higher the number, obviously, the sooner the map will start. We want to try to time this as well as we can so the map can match the audio. So let's go around 2000. And that should make the map start a lot sooner and you can tell the difference. And it's just a lot of trial and error really. Let's see, that's already way better than before, but it's not perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be as close as it can be. So let's go from 2000 to 2200. getting super close but I'm a bit picky so I'm not gonna stop here let's go to 2210 now if the song starts if the audio starts after the map has already played you're most likely gonna have a negative offset but since it starts before I'm having a positive offset Alright, that seems good enough. And after you are done, if you're only adding this one difficulty, you can go into Files and you can click Upload to Roblox, Publish to Roblox. And after you've done that, you can click on this right here and share it to your friends. Now, if you want to add more difficulties into this, you're going to go to Song Maps. You're going to click on the plus, module script, and whatever the map is going to be, you're going to rename it to that map. So let's just do, let's just put it as Hell or Hell by Reza Soyan. Now after you've done that, you're going to go back to workspace, song map list, and you're going to want to press enter right here. 
All right, you're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot song maps dot the song name so hell or hell comma and that will add the new difficulty and you're just gonna basically repeat the entire process you did for your first map convert the osu file copy it into here and fill out all of this stuff and try to get the time offset as close as you can to match the music but um that is basically it there is nothing else to it and I hope you enjoy adding custom maps into your Robeats and sharing it with your friends. See ya.